One of State High School is innovating a new path into the workforce by creating a new manufacturing class. 7 News reporter Nicole Ford takes you inside this first of its kind class at Belton Honeypath High School. As more manufacturing companies move to Anderson County, Anderson School District 2 saw an opportunity to create something new to prepare their students for life outside the classroom. It's the first year for this intro to manufacturing class. These are life skills that they'll be able to take on from high school once they enter. Uh, a job or career after high school. A room that about 100 students come in and out of each day is stocked full of equipment. The whole classroom equipment setup was about $300,000, entirely paid for by our local option penny sales tax. Each student in the class at Belton Honeypath learns hands on skills and has the opportunity to network with future companies. If we get to tour like Michelin and Timken and stuff, it's something you won't see in other Anderson County classrooms, but a creation and investment Anderson District 2 feels will help their students in the long run. About 35% of our class we know will go into the workforce. Why not make sure that they go in with skills that one, will give them higher paying jobs, but two, uh, also allow them to uh, move up the charts quickly. Whether it's programming on the computers or designing wood blocks, the students say they're loving the diversity of this new class. He makes us do it and not us just cheat off of someone or something. Well, traditionally, these types of classes are taught at the Career Center. The problem is I cannot get all of our students to the Career Center. We share a Career Center with four high schools, so we're limiting the number of students that have that option. Here, we present that option for more and more of our students without even leaving our campus. Now, the goal is to add a manufacturing class each year until they get to four so students can start off as freshmen and continue learning new skills until graduation. At BHP High School, Nicole Fort, 7 News. There are also five students currently enrolled in the class receiving credit through a partnership with Tri-County Tech so the students can take the class in high school and transition right into higher level classes at Technical College.